Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro dab of the day with a special visitor from King's Garden, the highest standard. We have today some live diamonds, Ghost OG. Hello, everybody. We're going to be tasting that with you. Well, today is Thursday. We're still digging out. Today's topic goes appropriate with that, I think. You ever been frustrated? A lot of people live in frustrated situations. A lot of people deal with frustration constantly. But in order to maximize, in order to push through frustrating situations, you've got to know what frustration means. You've got to know where it comes from. Let's discuss. Well, as little children... Infants, we're frustrated because we're unable to stand up. And then when we're standing up, we're unable to run. And then we're unable to run fast enough and we start to run and learn sports. So even basic skills when you're very young, how about getting the food in your mouth, is very frustrating. So basic things can be very frustrating to everyone at certain times in their life you're a little infant, as you get even older, certain things you don't know how to do as a young child, as an adolescent even, you get taught how to do things. So it might be frustrating for you, it's been frustrating for me as a young kid, learning to do it, to throw the ball right. How about writing penmanship the right way? It was frustrating getting it the right shape, all those letters the right way. And now I write like a doctor, because I don't care. Frustration is built out of trying to achieve a certain goal and being unable to attain it, trying to change something a certain way, unable to move to change it your way. Frustration, it could even be sexual, unable to do the things you want to do. Frustration financially, unable because you don't have the money to spend money on things you might have wanted to spend money on. But frustration, in my opinion, as we become adults, is selective. Here's the rub. We're frustrating ourselves, I think. I, you might argue with this and say, well, frustration comes from outside. I'm not so sure. I think it's engineered. I think it's hardwired in who we are to feel frustrated. How about how locked up everyone's been for the last almost year? And now they pile on a storm on top of it. So many people can't leave their homes because they're afraid to drive into bad weather, etc., plus what's going on in the world. Think that's a little bit frustrating? You basically have people, maybe a lot of people, that are, dum, 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 we're ready. Hard stop. Dum, 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 we're ready. Hard stop. How frustrating must this be for not the people who are physically frail like me? What if you're a, a superstar athlete? God forbid, you're the Olympic star, and they're not even sure they're going to have an Olympics this year in Tokyo. Frustrating. You think you've trained all your life for that moment, and that moment's about to be canceled, or that moment can risk your life. You see, frustration comes in a whole lot of different sizes, shapes, flavors, and scents. Frustration is just like we are. It's different. Everyone is different. So everyone has a different frustration and everyone has a different way of dealing with their frustration. But frustrations all come from the same cause. Unable to complete something a person wants to do of any ilk. You're, you're da, 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 uh, stopped at the wall. For me, it's been so frustrating all my life. I've never found a solution to my pain. I go from one side of my back to the other side of my back. It's insanity. It's bumper pool with my body of high level pain. I can't control it. How frustrating do you think that is? So frustration, we own it. You own it, it's yours. But the difficult part about frustration is those who are in your circle feel it too. Now, let's talk about this for a second. 
we're all locked in because of snow. Plus, we've been locked in because of COVID. Let's say you're locked in with your significant other, your family, etc., and things get frustrating. What do you think that's going to cause? It's going to cause disharmony. It's going to cause friction. Because one person's going to be frustrated, and the other doesn't understand. You see, frustration is much, much bigger than you and I. Frustration is the communication between people. Frustration is the inability to communicate properly in many ways. Because what's happening is you're not able to get the point across to the other individual you think so, the frustrated person does, so that they'll understand what you're going through. That's what frustration is in many ways. In many ways, it's trying to bring the other person over to your side of the page, so to speak, so they can see it, hear it, smell it, feel it the way you do. But guess what? Unless you got a Mrs. Stoner, who I decided 43 years ago, one year after I met her, was the home run mega $400 million lottery for me, okay? Unless you got something like that, you really got to be careful with frustration. Mrs. Stoner understands my frustration. She sees it and feels it. So if you're lucky enough to have someone who does that, you're communicating, believe it or not. Even though you might not be talking, your frustration is showing. Mrs. Stoner can look at me and say, what's wrong? I don't even speak. And I don't have a weird, weird face or anything. She says, what's wrong? Her frustration is that she can't help my pain. She can help it by stroking my hand, by hugging me, kissing me, but she can't take the pain away. It's very frustrating for her because she loves me so much. So here's another place where frustration can run rampant. Your loved ones. We care about our loved ones. When they don't do what we say, when we don't hear them, when they're not doing what we think they should do, when we're not hearing them do what we think they should do for safety, it's very frustrating for people like me. Now, that puts me a little bit on the controlling side because I'm frustrated that others aren't coming over to my side. But frustration, the epiphany, I think, of frustration is reality. You cannot get people to feel what you are feeling in your body. It doesn't work like that. You cannot paint the picture so well that they're going to fit into the form like an old-fashioned color form. It doesn't work like that. So guess what reality really means? Reality really means we're going to be frustrated during our lives. Ooh, did I just say a bad thing? No, I spoke the truth. We're going to be frustrated throughout our lives. And you know what that means? We need to find ways to channel it. We need to find ways to deal with it. And you know what? In our life, when you can get your fingers up on the windowsill of whatever you're working on, what do you do? You're able to get your rest of yourself in. So with our cyclical living, frustration is just another thing we deal with. As we come across the top, we have two things to always happen, hope and opportunity. And I would think what we would hope for is the opportunity to deal better with our frustration. That's what we're going to be looking for. Ways to deal better with frustration. Can't eliminate it. That's not human. But you can deal with it, maybe, in better ways. Here comes this diamond dab, everybody. So stay tuned. It's going to be a diamond dab on my Puffco Pro going out on green. Here we go. This stuff smells really good. And I had to open the case finally. Mrs. Stoner was looking at me saying, how come you haven't tried that yet? Okay, everybody, here we go. If you enjoyed today's topic on dealing with and understanding frustration, please subscribe. Send me your comments. I reply to every one of them. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. 
We might not be having a Puffco Peak Pro dab of the day. Hold on. We might be switching. Interesting. It's not saying battery dead. Hmm. Well, we're going to move our Puffco Peak. Oh, battery is dead. So the Puffco Peak Pro is not charged. We instead are going to move over to our backup plan, which is a really good backup plan, and have a dab of the day with our rescue honey badger. Let's call it the rescue machine today. It came to our rescue. And what are we going to dab? What are we going to dab? We're going to dab some really nice rounds in. Here we go. Another way to avoid frustration, by the way, to be flexible. You all notice this didn't work. You didn't see fur flying. You didn't see my hair standing on end. I moved over to the next device. If it's something simple like that, I encourage us all to not get stressed and not have frustration. This has been The Real Senior Stoner with your dual dab of the day today. Saved by the Honey Badger. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching today's discussion on frustration. Cheers.